Welcome to our video, Report on Intellectual Property Violation. At Amazon, we take intellectual property or IP seriously. Whether it's a trademark, copyright, patent or other type of IP, we're dedicated to protecting owner's rights so that sellers can sell and customers can buy in the Amazon store with confidence. To combat IP infringement, we offer two reporting forms, Report a Violation and Report Infringement. These forms help ensure that every rights owner can notify Amazon when they suspect their IP is being infringed in the Amazon store. Let's review who can use a report of violation and report infringement, as well as the steps for submitting a report to Amazon. Before we begin, note that this video doesn't include legal advice and is specific to IP reports and violations in India on Amazon.in. You should consult a local IP attorney if you have questions about your IP rights or the rights of others. Remember too that EIP reporting forms are intended for use only by rights owners or agents with permission from the rights owner. We can't process reports submitted by someone else. In addition, while reporting infringement can be accessed after signing into any Amazon seller, vendor or customer account, report a violation can only be accessed after signing into an Amazon brand registry account that has been assigned a rights owner or a registered agent role. Both roles can access the tool directly from their brand registry account by clicking Protect, then Report a Violation if they prefer not to navigate through Seller Central. If you are a rights owner or registered agent for an enrolled brand and haven't yet been assigned the appropriate role, contact your Amazon brand registry administrator to request an assignment. Report a Violation and Report Infringement can both be accessed from the same place in Seller Central. From the main menu, click Performance, then Account Health, and then Report Abuse. You'll see a series of options in the menu. Most of these options are used to report abuse of an Amazon policy rather than an IP violation. For example, a seller might want to report a product sold in a different condition than what's represented on a product detail page, or a customer review that includes a seller's personally identifiable information. But you should click the first option, Intellectual Property, Copyright, Trademark, Patent Violation to display links to report infringement and report a violation. Note that Amazon can't address issues related to unauthorized distribution of a product. If a third party is distributing your products without permission, contact them directly. Let's review the steps for using report a violation. After an IP rights owner or registered agent for an enrolled brand accesses this form, they begin by searching for the content they want to report. First, use the drop-down menu next to the search bar to select the Amazon store you want to search in. For any infringement report that requires an IP registration number, make sure you have valid IP registered in the same jurisdiction as the store you select. For example, to report a patent violation on Amazon.in, you need a patent issued by the Controller General of Patents, Designs and Trademarks Office or CGPD TMO. With your store selected, you can then search for content using text, an image or a customer order number. To perform a text-based search, enter a product name, brand name or keyword in the search bar. You can also enter up to 100 ASINs or product URLs as a comma-separated list. To perform an image-based search, click Browse. Then upload an image or logo that's associated with the brand. To perform a search using a customer order number, first ensure that the associated purchase was made in the last 180 days in the Amazon store you selected. Then enter the 17-digit number in the search bar. After performing your search, you can select one or more pieces of content to report for suspected IP infringement. Check the box next to each one. Check the box next to an ASIN if you want the entire ASIN. And all offers attached to its product detail page reviewed for IP violations. You can click the expander under a parent ASIN to view and select ASINs for product variations. You might select an entire ASIN if, for example, you want to report a product detail page that features a counterfeit product. Make sure you don't check the box next to an ASIN if your report only relates to a specific offer or image. 
The content you select determines the options available in later steps, and selecting the wrong content now can disable options you might need later. If you believe a suspected IP violation is specific to an image or offer associated with an ASIN, click Show All Images or Show Offers below a product name and check the box next to the relevant offer or image. You might select a specific offer if, for example, you performed a test buy and determined that one seller is sending counterfeit products, even though the product detail page represents an authentic product by your brand. You might select an image if it violates copyright by appearing on a product detail page without permission. After selecting ASINs, offers or images, you believe in fringe IP rights, you can then provide details about the suspected IP violation. First, click the Select Issue Type drop-down menu. If you select Trademark Infringement, you'll then select a specific description of the issue. For example, a product detail page using your trademark without permission or a product or packaging you don't manufacture with your trademark on it. Next, select the relevant brand name. Then the trademark you believe is being infringed from the drop-down menus. Only brands for which you're assigned a rights owner or registered agent at Amazon brand registry will be available. And only active trademarks associated with your Amazon brand registry account and enforceable in the jurisdiction of the store you selected will be available. If a brand seems to be missing, contact an administrator to update your roles. And if a trademark seems to be missing, check with the government office that issued it to ensure it isn't expired or declined. If you select copyright infringement, you'll also select a specific description of the issue. For example, a product detail page that uses a copyrighted image without permission or a product that pirated an album by copying it wholesale without permission. Next, select the relevant brand name and then select whether you want to provide a copyright registration number, a public link to the copyrighted work or a detailed written description. Provide a registration number if you have one to assist us with verification. If you select patent infringement, you'll also select a specific description just like for a trademark or copyright. For example, a violation for a patent issued by the CGPD TMO can be for either utility or design. Next, select the relevant brand name. Confirm you have a patent number and enter the number. If you also have a court order, or an International Trade Commission order finding infringement for a utility patent, make the appropriate selection and enter your information in the new fields that appear. After making selections and entries specific to your IP violation type, provide as much additional information as possible in the space provided. The more complete and accurate information you provide, the faster we can process your report. At this point, make sure that you're submitting a report about a single type of IP violation. For example, don't submit a report about a suspected trademark violation that also discusses copyright infringement. You also don't want to submit a report that references multiple trademark, copyright or patent numbers. Finally, enter your contact information as the IP rights owner or agent. If the violation you report is confirmed, we will provide this contact information to the sellers found responsible in case they have follow-up questions. Click the Submit button to send your report to Amazon. If you need to submit any additional reports about IP for a brand enrolled in Amazon Brand Registry, you can use Report or Violation again. To monitor the status of a report, you can also click Monitor, then Submission History from the main menu. The Submission History page includes links if you need to retract or escalate a report. If you are an IP rights owner or agent and want to report a suspected violation, but you aren't affiliated with a brand enrolled in Amazon brand registry, you can notify Amazon using report infringement instead of report a violation. You just need to be signed in to a seller, vendor or customer account. You'll complete steps similar to those we've just reviewed. As always, keep in mind that the more accurate the information you provide, the faster we can assist. After you submit a report using either form, we review the suspected content promptly. When an IP violation is confirmed, we remove the content from the Amazon store and follow up with the responsible sellers as appropriate. 
For privacy reasons, we don't share details about our follow-up with sellers if they are not already public in nature. But it's important to note that sellers found responsible for infringement may have their selling account suspended. This concludes our video on reporting IP violations. Thank you and happy selling in the Amazon store.